Welcome uh, to Ryan Flies. A short one, I think. Uh, we're gonna do something a little different. We're gonna take a look at one little piece of this project uh, and see if we can go from start to finish. Um, the, the length of the episode determined by my relative success at getting this completed quickly. Uh, based on my track record, you're in for a long haul. Let's take a look at what we're doing uh, real quick this time on Ryan Flies. It's all about the vent this time around. Um, and this is a piece I have been working on uh, for a little bit. So from start to finish is a bit of a lie. However, I think we can get this piece wrapped up and I can fully encompass everything that has gone in to getting these vents installed in the panel. First off, the vents. Uh, I have mentioned these before. These vents were ordered, I believe, from Stein. Uh, the vents no longer a part of the RV7 kit. They were discontinued. You are now forced to source them on your own. You have a couple options. I think at the low end, you have some 3D printed options. Uh, not a look I wanted on my panel. So we jumped up way up in uh, price point and I went with these machined aluminum vents. I, every RV7 I've seen, uh, everybody has gone for these nicer vents. It's just, it's not a lot of money to spend on something that you're gonna touch just about every flight. I went with black. Um, they are available, I think, in black and silver, and, and they are fantastic pieces of uh, machinery. They're, they're very high quality. On the panel, there is, there is no provisions for getting these installed. That's left up to the builder. What I'm doing is not novel. Everybody has to create some sort of mounting bracket unless you're going to completely redo your panel and include a spot for the vent uh, into a one-piece panel. I have not done that, even though I have cut a new panel it's largely based or, or entirely based on the stock RV7 panel. You may have seen in the past, uh, I've been working on a prototype piece. Cut from eighth inch ABS, it largely matches the final file that I'm gonna use for the vent mount. Uh, and it also includes a spot for both the headset jack and the microphone jack, um, really tight. But I thought it was important to kind of push these as far to the cabin wall as I could. Uh, and not include them anywhere on the panel itself. A while back, again, you might remember I cut these out and I, I liked how they worked. I liked their size. Uh, the only thing left to do at that point was to generate a file, which I've done, send it over to Send Cut Send and get them cut on something a little nicer than ABS. Enter these. Uh, these are fantastic. I cut them from carbon fiber. Uh, I'm not going to have a lot of carbon fiber on the plane. I don't like a lot of carbon fiber in things, um, but I do think it works great as a very small light accent here and there. This is what's going to hold the vent. This is what the uh, two jacks will mount to, and then it will get screwed into three separate spots on three corners in order to secure it. And that's largely what we're looking at today is how to secure it. I already have one hole uh, predetermined by Vans in the panel. And for that, all we need is to add a nut plate. However, the other two holes have to go into a bracket that we will form that goes into the side of the fuselage here. There are four rivet holes. Uh, I do believe there's some plans for a bracket that would hold a vent and uh, whatever pieces you had around here. Because I have this custom piece, my bracket is gonna have to be similarly custom. And so we've got to get to template making and prototyping, if you will, to see how we can secure these. Let's start with some cardboard and uh, do some cardboard aided design to see if we can get these to fit. I don't like that. I stole that from somebody else. It's not even that great. First thing I'm gonna tackle here is we need a nut plate in the hole that's already in the panel. In order to do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a nut plate that's just secured by one rivet. All of these nut plates are so tight, uh, I gotta do what I can to save on space. All right, so I got this chintzy little paper template. Um, it's not much, but I think it's gonna get me to where I need to be. 
Uh, I'm gonna make a rough bracket, re really just a blank for this piece, and put a single bend in it. Uh, and then we'll take it back over to the plane and see how it lines up, and slowly start adding holes uh, to, to mount this thing that will allow us to narrow down on a final piece. I'm just trying to mark these at this point. I don't want to go through to the carbon fiber, um, but I've got to have everything attached. You can see just how tight it is. So this whole thing has been incredibly tight uh, to work with. It's a small piece and, and everything around it, again, very tight. Um, but I've kept it all screwed together, uh, not only while drilling, but while riveting, just to make sure nothing moves on me. Again, tolerances are, are really close here, and I don't want this thing suddenly not fitting. Now I've just got to uh, pop it in here, match drill the four holes from the side of the fuselage into the side of this, um, and then we've got some dimpling and riveting. So you'll note uh, here that the last hole, the bottom hole it is, very close. I don't have my edge distance on there. That was not unexpected. I knew it was going to wind up like that. Um, to be honest though, I don't need all four rivets. And I was even contemplating just leaving the bottom one out of the bracket uh, and putting a rivet in there to plug the hole. However, I've, I've left it. It will offer a little bit of support, but uh, again, edge distance, not, not within tolerance, but it is within what I feel uh, structural specification. This thing will be in there tight, it'll be secure, uh, and I'm confident that it'll work.
And there you have it, the vent is in. Uh, except there's still a lot more to do. I've got to put the tubing to hook the vent up. I got to put those microphone and headset jacks in. I got to find new screws because I don't like the ones that are in there. There's a lot left. So in reality, this whole from start to finish thing was really a whole sham. It was a bunch of BS, but whatever, I tried. And at least I stuck on task and, and on topic for the majority of this video. Now, if you're thinking I made that look pretty quick and pretty easy, and, and I highly doubt anybody is thinking that, but in case there is anyone that's thinking that, uh, it, some honesty is required here. A, that wasn't my first vent. In fact, that wasn't even my second vent for most of it. Well, it broke. It just snapped right on the bend. Bend was too tight and it was weak and I pushed on it and it snapped. I wound up redoing a majority of the work. And as always, uh, there was a lot of editing. This took several hours, as anything on a plane does, it always takes several hours. But if you liked this more condensed version on one topic, let me know. I might feed them in in addition to my usual longer videos. I have no intention of stopping those. But for now, that's it for this one. Make sure you're subscribed uh, so you can catch that longer video coming up soon. Uh, and until then, have fun working on your project. We'll see you soon on Ryan Flies.